to be, and it's a fair trade organic. <laughs> and um, he started this nonprofit called On the Ground that is um, basically working in solidarity with the communities that grow the coffee um, to provide, so far, um, water, health care, or education. And um, they work with the people and talk to them about what their greatest need is to help help them be more sustainable in their community and um, work together. And so we went to Ethiopia and um, the, what they needed there was schools. And so Chris came up with this amazing idea that um, runners would get sponsored and raise money to go on this run across Ethiopia. And run. they ran over 250 miles and they were all raised their own money to go towards building schools in Ethiopia. And there was, um, I think, 10 or 12 runners from the U.S. and then I think there were four Ethiopian runners and they all did it and it was incredible and they asked us to go along as sort of a cultural part of, of this whole event and so we were working with the kids in schools singing and, and learning from them and we also got to meet some amazing Ethiopian musicians that taught us a lot and so um, our assignment was to, while they were running a marathon a day or more, um, we were uh, to writing songs and our job was to finish an album, writing an album while we were there. And so um, this is a song that we wrote inspired by the Tezita major scale, which we learned in Ethiopia. And it's definitely about this drive. We, we both wrote on this drive where we left the city of Addis Ababa and we went out into the country. And there were these huge trees in the middle of very vast kind of deserty sand. And the trees just looked like what I'd always imagined the tree of life would look like. They were just beautiful. And I found out later that there is a, a word in, in Ethiopian, or in Amharic, that means um, gathering under one of those trees. There's an actual word that means that. And I didn't know that when I wrote this song, but this is called the Tree of Life.